I'm here in Central Park with Mr. Terrence Mann, one of the wizardly stars from the Dresden Files. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Good to be here. Good to have you. Thank so for those who haven't seen the Dresden Files, what are they? Uh, the Dresden Files is about a Chicago cop named Harry Dresden who also is a wizard. And, and uh, so he not only solves real crimes, but he also solves crimes of the occult. And uh, there's always something going on that doesn't quite get explained during, you know, one of the shows that ultimately has something to do with a, a demon or a vampire or a, something weird. Okay, well, I don't think there's any wizards or little weird skull people in this bunch, but... Are you, are you referring to me being in the skull as no, Bob? No, no, well, yeah, kind of, yeah. I do. I live in a skull. <laughs> Let's take a look at the nominees for favorite TV character. Kate Austin, Lost. There's at least two of them. For five seconds, I'm going to turn the tables on them. Jack Bauer, 24. By order of the President of the United States, put down your weapon! Dr. Rodney McKay, Stargate Atlantis. I'm not crazy. I just have another consciousness in my brain. Hiro Nakamura, Heroes. This is what you've been waiting for. Be the one we need. And Kara, Starbuck Thrace, Battlestar Galactica. You afraid to hit me? I mean, you can't. Well, this is a uh, stellar group of characters that we are going to uh, select from. And uh, the... Who do you think the winner is? Gosh, I don't know. I'm a big fan of Stargate. Should we just look? Let's just look. Okay. On Tom 3. One, one two, two, three. three. The winner is Dr. Rodney McKay, Stargate Atlantis. Yes! Good guess. Stargate fans were first introduced to Dr. Rodney McKay when the character made a trio of guest appearances on SG-1. Now, as an essential member of the Atlantis research team, it's hard to believe that actor David Hewlett was not a part of the original cast lineup. When plans for the show's intended character fell through, series creator Brad Wright and longtime Stargate director Martin Wood were quick to realize McKay would be the perfect fit for the Atlantis Collective and made the call. Hewlett accepted, and the rest is history. I mean, it's a, it's a nice looking award, and uh, but the reality is you you can't you can't quantify uh, acting. I mean, there's not no one's a better actor than another. I I want it. Oh!